Making mosaic ashtrays was probably my earliest foray into digital design. Maybe there's just something about arranging tiles and squares. My high school friend, Andy Hertzfeld, who was working at Apple, he needed some graphic design help. I thought, sure, I can give it a shot. He showed me a prototype Macintosh. A graphical user interface allowed people that didn't know anything about computers to get a computer to do something. I represented the target audience. I was a sole source of bitmap design. People would say, oh, I need a this or that, and I could just make it. A bitmap display is like a grid. You had a certain number of pixels, ones and zeros, black or white. Andy wrote an icon editor. You could just tap a square in that grid and turn it from black to white. Even just a tiny icon, there are a lot of considerations. What is it? What does it represent? Who's it for? Where are they going to see it? What is really the heart of the thing that needs a symbol? These details cumulatively had an effect on the product. What do buttons look like? Scroll bars. And we did the lasso because we need a way to grab something. I was asked to do an image while the computer was booting up. There was the opportunity to draw the Mac and have it smile. It was really design-driven, not metrics-driven. It would be friendly from the get-go. I left Apple to follow Steve Jobs to Next and be the creative director, and that seemed like a great challenge. I was able to work with Paul Rand. Don't get scared, this is not the design. <laughs> One thing he said was, you don't need a lot of typefaces, you just need to know how to use them. There's so much pleasure in the group nature of projects, but it's a trade-off at a company because there are a lot of decision makers. The work that I did on my own design firm, I had a lot more control. Slate said that Windows Solitaire was the most used piece of software in the Windows universe. It's kind of like how you wasted time before there was <laughs> social media. Facebook had an idea to bring graphics into Facebook messaging. I loved the idea. It was like having a virtual gift shop. I enjoy working at Pinterest because I work on a variety of different kinds of design projects. Icons for the product, graphics for the cafe. There's so much content from all over the world that inspires me in my work. I love to make things a little bit friendly and humane. A little spoonful of that informs my work. I find that so pleasurable. <laughs>